Hi, I'm Ingrid Blackburn, and today we're going to make a one-layer creative scenery card. I am using half a sheet of ultra-smooth white paper that I've cut down the middle at four and a half, four and a quarter by eleven inch, and I'm going to create a, a half-inch border. I'm using my grid paper underneath. I'm kind of looking through the paper to mask that off so that I have it perfectly straight. Grid paper or a grid bottom works really well to help you create those perfect lines and that's what I'm doing right there is positioning that so I get it perfectly straight. And then I'm going to create a two and a quarter inch border and leave the rest white so I kind of have an offset picture and that's where I'm going to create my tropical scenery today. My husband is in St. Lucie today and was in St. Bart's yesterday so tropical we're doing. I'm going to use the tree trunk, uh, the Palm Trio stamp. I cut it apart so that I have three different trunks that I can put together and use separately. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. Those are from Stampscapes. I'm covering up two-thirds of my picture, which is going to be my scenery, basically the land and the water. So the top is going to be the sky, and that's what I'm going to start with. I'm using Ranger Adirondack lights and here is cloudy blue and we're going to use a sponge to lightly give a coating of our little white cardstock that's showing. You can see I'm going rather lightly making sure to start off my off of my paper. You're going to deposit the most ink the first time you touch that sponge down in this way till you get your proper pressure it's best to start off the side and that way you don't make any mistakes. It's very easy to layer, it's really hard to take off. So just keep that rule, general rule in your head when you're doing this and it's a good habit just to start off. And I'm just gonna layer probably, I don't know, five, maybe six times across and it'll slowly build up a beautiful color. It doesn't really look like much, it looks like a real light bluish gray but when you see me peel the actual post-it note off, you'll see actually how much color was deposited on that white. So you can see here I'm just about done. We're gonna test that out. And you can see see what a huge contrast that is. And I very carefully lifted that up because if it wasn't where I wanted, I could just put it right back down. So I'm going to now grab a new post-it note and place that across and this is going to be my mask for my horizon line and we're going to now work on the water. I'm going to take a couple more and just secure that down to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. And we are going to start off actually with the beach. And for the beach I'm going to use Stampin' Up's Sahara Sand. I love this color for sand or just, you know, beachy beachy dirt if you will. It's nice and light. I find that when you use craft it's a little dark so this is just kind of a little bit more of a grayish craft color. Uh, it's really a pretty color and I'm not going to do too much here on the bottom because I want it to be mostly water and I'm going to have kind of a little bit of layer of white in between my my water and land to be kind of like the froth that you see when you have waves. So. I don't want to take up too much space with the actual land. We want more blue in our in our photo. So now that that's about done, I'm just doing it a little darker on the bottom edge because that is going to frame our shot. We're going to move on to Adirondack Lights Aqua and again we're going to bring in the sponge. And I basically use the same sponge with different shades of blue. I can rinse these out and reuse them try to keep one a little more earthy. I took a big round sponge from Stampin' Up and cut that up into six. So I got six different ones from one. You get three in a package. And I'm going to get a nice coating of the aqua. The aqua is that bluish greenish color. It's the perfect shade of water. I love it. Keeping that white as I talked about in between the dirt and the water I'm still putting a little bit of aqua there. I'm just not putting very much. It has ever so slight a layer. Now I'm going to use Marvy Matchables and right here I am going to start off with the Caribbean blue color and then work a little bit of the turquoise into it. Caribbean blue is really nice pretty. If you're used to stamping up ink pads it's kind of similar to tempting turquoise. 
and then the actual turquoise by Marvy Matchables is a little bit darker. It's a little bit more of a jadish color. So I'm it's because it's so dark, I'm really tapping it off on the side because I don't want too much on my sponge. Just incorporating just a little of that. And then I'm gonna go back into the aqua, as you'll see in a second, to just kind of blend it all together. Just really give it that final, that final polished look. I love those little Marvy Matchable pads. They've discontinued a lot of the colors, but they still have core colors here in the States. They've just decided not to sell a ton of them in the States anymore. So they've backed off on the lines that they have. But interestingly enough, they have not gone uh, reduce the amount of markers, the brush markers, or re-inkers. Just some of those ink pads, which is uh, kind of strange, a little odd, but they're great colors. I love them. And I'm going to place this back down because I realized that I had a little, I overmasked it a little bit and I had a little tiny bit of white in that corner. So I am going to add a little bit more, because you have a lot of those bright colors right there, I'm going to just cover that up with a clean piece of uh, post-it note and just kind of go in a little bit more because I'm adding a little too much to the co to the corner. I didn't want it to be odd, so I'm adding a little bit more to the rest now to make it just a touch darker. And there we go. So we'll just pull all the middle off. We will leave the outside edge and now we're going to do some of our stamping. I've got the Stampin' Up! Chocolate Chip Pad here. It's got a nice warm color. Taking one of those Palm Trio trunks from Stampscapes Stamps. Love their stamps. They are sold unmounted or, or mounted. I like them unmounted because that way I can use them without having all that foam on the back and it's nice and easy. First off, it's a lot more inexpensive to purchase them that way and I can position them every way I want rather than having them mounted. And I'm going to show you after I stamp this. Here you have, these are a couple of the palm fronds. And you can see I'm flipping it around. It's a little sticky and tacky on the back. It doesn't come that way. I use this. Eileen's tack it over and over. And I just take one of those little foam brushes and just brush that on top. And there you go. And they just go in and off. And here's the little binder that I keep them in. I keep some of those little transparency folder covers and I just stick all my stamps to it. Great stamp storage, very easy. So I'm putting this into Marvy Matchable's Jungle Green and this is a great color. Love this color. It's kind of olive-ish but yet has a different hue to it and I want to make sure that this leaf covers some of the horizon line. So I was trying to figure out where it was going to go. And you notice how I'm connecting the left part of the leaf to where it would be on the tree. So I'm trying to keep it true to where it is. I'm just going to put two on the top and one on the bottom. And I have to switch to my other leaf that's facing the other direction for the bottom. And there you go. You can buy these in sets or individually, these stamps. They rock. I love them. Definitely check stampscapes.com out. I'm going to peel this off nice and slow here. You notice I have a lot of ink on my fingers, so I want to be careful because I don't want to touch any of that white. Isn't that cool? Isn't that such a great scene? Now here I'm going to go ahead and use a sentiment from the Hostess set, Express Yourself from Stampin' Up! And this sentiment actually said, always thinking of you, and I just cut it. So I'm only going to use the thinking of you and that way I can always put the always down or just use the always on its own or with something else. Get a little more versatility from your stamps. You don't always have to use them the way they were intended. I'm inking up this in chocolate chip and I'm just going to stamp that horizontally. You don't always have to stamp it so that the reader can read it. It can go up the side. I have such a long image and it'll look just fine there. And I just love this card. It's that little tiny bit of the tropics. Makes me feel like I'm in the Southern Caribbean with my husband today. And this is a perfect card. It's very easily duplicatable. And I'm looking forward to sending a bunch of these out. There you have it. Love how it turned out. All the supplies are listed below this video or on the blog.
much for watching today. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you liked this video. And be sure to click subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel. You can visit the blog, thecreativegrove.com. See what we're all about. We've got more creative tips, great information, and online classes there. As always, I appreciate your support, your comments, and your input. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.